Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So today um, I'm doing something exciting, I swear I said that at the start of every single video. But anyways, so I'm headed up to Perth to stay the night with the float because we are going to be picking up my new foal tomorrow morning. So it's very exciting. So I thought that I would bring you guys along with me because I thought you might like to see me picking him up and um, yeah. So I hope you enjoy this video. off uh, we're gonna leave in a second I just thought I would tell you guys a little bit about him um, his registered name is Noran San Antonio he is a nine month old Bay Arabian cult um, he just gets called San Antonio but um, I am going to be changing his name to Azaru he's about maybe 14 hands at the moment um, he should mature to around 15 too I've got his papers here his Sire is Mystica Santosa, and his dam is Noran Mystery Dancer, and his sire of dam is LC Prince Magnum. He's just a bay with no markings whatsoever, so a bit of a change. Normally every single horse that I have leased or clicked with or bought has always had a star, so that's sort of been like my um, superstition about buying horses. If they have a star, then they must be good. So um, hopefully this um, markingless foal goes quite well for me. <laughs> um, we've set up fencing and all of that because he is still intact and he's a little bit hormonal um, and I won't be gelding him. Yeah, so he's just gonna be in the paddock on his own for a little while while he settles in. Um, so I've already packed my bag and we're just about ready to go. I've bought all of his feed, a lead rope and a pony sized halter, which I think might be a little bit big. So I'm gonna get him a full sized halter from Horseland today, just in case anyways, and that way he can grow into the pony size one anyways. Um, and then I also need to get him a five foot waterproof rug because it's pretty gnarly weather down here at the moment and he has been clipped because he's been shown in hand. He has grown some of his coat back but it's already gonna be enough of a system shock for his first move because he's just been at the stud for his entire nine months. So obviously uh, he's gonna be quite stressed out. So I wanna try and keep him as comfortable as possible and also keep his condition on so while it's pretty stormy down here, he can wear a rug and then I'm just gonna let him go fluffy and be a baby. So yeah, we're gonna leave pretty much now. and we just bought a couple rugs and a halter. Dinosaur King and Emma. <laughs> so I have mostly woken up. It is currently 7.57, so we're hopefully gonna be leaving any minute. I'm waiting for Dad to come back. He's gone to work to get something. Um, but yeah, I've pretty much packed my bag. My stuff, my jumping stuff is still on the fall, so I've gotta put that together but otherwise we are good to go. We're in a bit 
of a traffic jam. Just stopped at a service station to um, get some food, have a toilet break, and also check on him. Hi! Hi, baby! Hi, Papa! Hi! Zara is in his paddock now, so I'm just going to make him a little feed with some chaff and then a couple of pellets in there. So I'll just get a little feed for him here. Um, I'm just gonna wet it down. Now normally I make them stand back and wait, but just because he's still settling in, I'm not going to, but he doesn't seem interested. Come on, buddy. Want some food? What are you looking at? Huh? So he doesn't seem actually that interested in his food, so obviously he's not as settled as I thought he was, but um, he will get better once he gets a bit more relaxed here. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with him actually seeing him run around. Um, as well as like made me like go, yes, I made the right decision. 